When there's an emergence of an infectious disease, I like to talk about a Swiss cheese event. The holes are risk factors, and when those risk factors line up in such a way, then we have an outbreak that occurs. Some of the main factors that cause an infectious disease outbreak to become a pandemic are our interaction with animals. That's because a lot of these emerging infectious diseases emerge from the animal kingdom and jump the species barrier. And when a new virus breaches the barrier between the animal kingdom and the human kingdom, the destiny is not known. What we need to do to try to prevent outbreaks from occurring, and that includes close proximity to humans, vaccinating animals, and the whole series of other interventions, which we will learn as we begin to understand more the dynamic between the animal kingdom, the human kingdom, and the environment. One of the things we could have done differently to prevent the spread of COVID-19 is to have acted faster. That means heeding the WHO's warning. Uh, some countries did that, especially those that had experience with SARS. These countries set up strong detection systems or reinforced the detection systems they already had. And when they found cases of infection which came into their countries, they immediately responded by isolating patients, by identifying their contacts, and making sure that those contacts were self-isolated. A good public health system is the first line of defense against a disease turning into a pandemic. That means it's a system that helps people stay healthy and protects them from threats to their health. Access to health services without financial hardship, which is universal health coverage, is an essential backbone of the goal of health for all. All countries must have equivalent capacities in public health and equivalent capacity in patient management through their health systems. If there's a country that doesn't have those systems in place, then we will see a weak link in the chain. There are lots of things we could all do as individuals. The most important thing is to put yourself in the best position to be resilient to disease by looking after your health. Then it's about knowing how to protect yourself in the midst of an outbreak and how to protect others around you. Also, be careful where you get your information from. Look to trusted and credible experts such as the WHO or your health authorities. I can imagine a world where we can prevent pandemics from happening. Maybe not all of them, but certainly some. Early action can limit the damage and prevent something reaching pandemic proportions. That entails political will, investment, reducing the risk in our interaction with animals, and fast, decisive response to outbreaks. At the same time, we know that we can strengthen our health systems so that we can better contain outbreaks when they occur. And by preventing disease and by making sure that we're treating patients who are sick properly, we can begin to see a world that's better prepared to deal with these outbreaks when they do occur.